Hello, everybody. So it's bad. Movie month, day 28, the final day of bad movie month, the finale of this. And we have picked a truly, truly horrible film for this, requested by my friend Ryan Preston. He went through torture watching this film. I have gone through torture watching this film. Let me just read you the, uh, the Wikipedia page of this film quickly. Um, here we go. Food Fight is a 2012 American computer animated family film produced by Threshold Entertainment and, and directed by Larry Kansanoff or Kansanoff or whatever. He's a cock. Um, what? He, he did Mortal Kombat on tour. That's the other thing that he directed and wrote. And he wrote this and he's just, he produces stuff as well. The film features the voices of Charlie Sheen. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Wayne Brady, Hilary Duff, and Eva Longieri yeah, from you know Desperate Housewives and other stuff. It was originally planned for a Christmas 2003 release and was pushed to late 2005. The Fireman's Fund Company and the internet and international film guarantors were set to auction off the film and all associated rights in September 2011 to settle C47 productions of Threshold and Animation Studios defaulted loan for the film. So you know. This film's got a bit of a bit of a back story to it. Um, didn't get released till 2012. Um, Larry Kansanoff, just wow, just what 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 idiot. Just like I heard he got thrown off of this film somehow, but a lot. I don't know. That was just one thing I read about this. This film is a kids' film. It's meant to be a kids' film. It's got this character of Dex Dog Detective, which is played by Charlie Sheen. Apparently. Dog, detective, Dex, dog, detective, eats raisins, but raisins are toxic to dogs in real life. So what the what what, what the hell's going on there? Um, we love to eat raisins, yeah. Apparently, and then Hilary Duff is sunshine. Uh, goodness is a kitten, a cat, or whatever. Her and Dex, dog, detective are gonna get married and stuff and be together and things. And it's all very weird. And then Daredevil Dan, played by Wayne Brady, and. Lady Lady X is played by Eva Longer, and then you, you also have Christopher Lloyd in this as well. And oh, this the this film right here. Here's what I'm gonna compare. This film cost 65 million to make. Toy Story, the first Toy Story, cost 30 million to make, and that film looks amazing. Toy Story looks amazing. This costs more, and it looks like a film that costs like 10 pound to make. It looks like it should just be in a pound. And it looks like there's a guy on YouTube who makes these sort of Jimmy Neutron videos that aren't probably Jimmy Neutron videos, it's just him who's messed about with animation. It's just it's a guy that knows how to do animation, but just makes them in a funny, crappy way where they look absolutely horrible and just thrown on YouTube just as a little joke. Um, uh, and just this, the animation looks horrible. There's scenes where humans talk and they talk to each other, but their mouth does not move. And when they talk, they go like this with their arms up, they'll be talking. And there's one point where guys are talking, and he's like, you're in my supermarket. What are you doing in my supermarket? And then people will dance in at a club and they will dance like this, apparently. Yep, like this. Whoa, yeah, everyone danced like that, apparently. It's, it looks horrible. Um, this film has a lot of sexual innuendos, really horrible sexual innuendos. This is a film for kids, and there's the scene where the where Eva Longero's character first walks in. She's got like, and all the men objectify her. They're like, oh, wow, and all look at her. And then there's a scene where she's dressed as like a schoolgirl and she's like rubbing up against. Dex Dog Detective, and this is for kids. This film is aimed at kids, and it's got it's swearing that's not swearing like this guy's like at one point, oh you you're in your crisps, but you're gonna get you're gonna get chip faced, you know shit faced. It's meant to be in that, but it's just you know it's playing on words. It's swearing, but it's not swearing. And then there's a scene where he's like, you're a cold farted itch, not bitch. Don't say bitch. This itch, you know. The writers of this just I think they were like, ah, this would be funny for adults as well, but it's just it's offensive. The kids really because this stuff will go over kids heads but then the parents will be like this is really wrong letting my kid watch this because this person this woman's meant to be in like a short skirt she's meant to be like pretty much rubbing herself or like sexualizing her and stuff and she's got, she's got like a, a, a kilt like a schoolgirl dress on and she's like a skirt on i mean and she's rubbing up against the detective food fighters are just a really horrible film it's 0.5 out of 10 for me not even a one it's just horrible Horrible, horrible sexual innuendos. So many bloody sexual innuendos in this film. Bad, horrible animation. A terrible, terrible film. Just with the swearing, it's not swearing like I've already said. A horrible storyline. It's too actually. It's too long. Really, it's like one hour and twenty-two minutes, but it's too long. It's too long. It just it should just be like a short for kids, and it's just 
it's just horrible. It shouldn't. It's not for. Do not watch this with your kids. And if you got like a niece or a nephew, do not show it to any kids. Do not watch this yourself. It's horrible. It's shitty. It's badly made. Sixty-five million to make this, and it didn't. It made like seven thousand in the UK, and like seventy-two thousand um, in America, and that was it. I think no, it was it was less than that. It just. It did not make it 65 million, it flopped so badly and I'm happy because it's a pile of crap and do not watch it. So that's the end of Bad Movie Month, I really enjoyed doing Bad Movie Month. If you've enjoyed the whole of Bad Movie Month, say it on there, leave your requests for what else you would like me to do after Bad Movie Month. You know I do stuff in the month, so I do a week or whatever, just leave your requests for what you would like me to do next. And leave requests for films for me to review and you'll be getting the Fryfest videos this weekend I filmed Q&A's, so if Q&A's go up, yeah, that's just because I like to put them on this channel um, just to show what I've been doing things, and there'll also be videos of me talking about Fryfest, and I'll also be, um, you know, doing some reviews of some of the films like I did for Fryfest last year, and I have done for Gans yeah, of before, so I will review films on there, like, I'll talk about them in the whole video where I talk about Fryfest, but I'll also go out and review those films, and I think one film I will be reviewing is Wolf Creek 2, so that's all for the day, and I shall see you all this weekend. You know, I've been, I'm just been getting out frequent videos because I enjoy making this stuff now. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm more confident in things. And Yeah, I just really hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, thanks to people that have just been nice about this whole Bad Boat Month and said they've enjoyed it and participated in doing requests for me and stuff. I really enjoyed it, and thanks to everyone that did requests. Thanks to everyone that subscribed to me in the time that I was doing this. Thanks to everyone that stuck around with me on YouTube for these many years that I've been on here. Thank you very much, and I shall see you all later on. Goodbye.